Once again, Drake May, the kid, gets in there with everybody watching and all the eyeballs on the Patriots, and Drake May looks good and performs again. And for the second straight game, Drake May has made everybody who has not offered him ample opportunity this summer <laughs> look stupid. He keeps making his coaching staff look stupid. This is not a reflection of them. This is a reflection on him getting better. It's not a reflection on opportunity. It's not a reflection on getting first team reps. It's none of that. Drake May is showing you who he is. Question is, will the team take advantage of it? That's what we now ask. Because this is now becoming a quarterback controversy. After watching an entire preseason, it's pretty clear that the best quarterback on the roster is Drake May and not Jacoby Brissett. I think we're there. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the most evident thing. And uh, hey, thanks for joining us. Um, uh, I thought I thought that we'd be a little more at ease after the third preseason game because like you know, they played their, I mean, excuse me, New England played their starters or, or at least guys they felt that needed to get out there and play. Like David Andrews did not play in this game, so that that creates some confusion in the middle there because you really don't have a backup center. That's where we're at right now. We're waiting for the 4 p.m. deadline on Tuesday for the New England Patriots to pick third because that's the part. That's the place you're in now. You get to choose third when guys go through waivers, and I, I, they're excited about that because there's going to be good players. But it's also, hey, that means you're not a really good football team, and that's why you're picking where you're picking. But they didn't play 32, 33 starters. Did um, Washington and the havoc that they were causing up front was done with backups. And, like, you have to also consider that. But, hey, Vidarian Love, Vidarian Lowe goes down this week with an injury. City So hurts his ankle in the game last yeah. night. I guess he left in a walking boot, according to Alex Barth. But, um, you know, you're juggling a lot of guys. I thought we would be getting very close to the point. Let's pick five guys and let's roll. And that's what you need to do because you need continuity up front. There's too many interchanging of bodies right now. There's a lot of guys playing with not a lot of confidence. And for many reasons. Because... They haven't played a lot of football. Michael Wenner was the only one that's played a lot of football there. Mike's a good player. We'll get to the offensive line. Yep. That's clearly an issue on this team. But, I mean, that, but, that's but, reflective on a quarterback because this is this is the reason you're not seeing him play because I think they know what dire positioning they're in offensively to allow Drake to develop and really put him on a pedestal to where we were really nourishing him and getting him ready to play week one. It, didn't, it doesn't feel. Drake May should have started the game last night. It was a waste of time putting Jacoby Brissett in the game. Again, it's a message to Brissett that you're the guy into the team. They're trying to control the message. The problem is they now are in a very uncomfortable spot. And I I talked about this pregame last night, and I said, if Drake May goes out and has another good game, and we look at Drake May stringing together two good, if not great, when you consider he's a rookie, performances, the coaching staff on this team is going to have to answer to their players at some point Once they go out there, their offense struggles, and Jacoby Brissett struggles, and everybody has now seen what Drake May is capable of. And I think the thing that uh, would help this team with Drake May on the field at some point is that Drake May can move. Drake May can make plays from outside the pocket. Which helps your pocket. Drake May's younger, quicker, able to make plays. And that's who you saw again last night. Drake May is capable of making plays plays and that's hard to hide they can't hide it Gerard Mayo's already trying to cover his tracks on this by the way in what way well last night pregame Mike Reese with us in the early part right out of mm-hmm. the gate Mike Reese came in studio shut up what a guy the best guy works hard he does I'm so appreciative of that yeah uh Mike Reese had this to say about what's Casper uh vacation uh, he has to say about the Drake May real, situation huh? and what it is that Gerard Mayo was was kind of thinking about the situation. Yeah. yeah, so I think Drake is pushing a little bit. And I think I was listening to you guys in the first segment. I think part of the reason that they're talking about the competition is just to sort of keep the carrot out in front of Drake. You know, I think I think Drake May is, is a really um, he's a good kid. And he wants to make sure he's fitting in and doing the right thing. And I think he's been very deferential to Jacoby Brissett and his experience. And I think there's a part of the team that wants him to, hey, go go press, go press here, you know. Like, and and by saying that it's still a possibility, 
as Gerard Mayo has, I think it's almost like trying to coax that, to me, that my view of it, coax that out of Drake May. I do think it'll be Jacoby Brissett yep. um, week one in Cincinnati with one caveat. Like, as we watch tonight, if Jacoby does not perform well and Drake performs like he did last week, I think that conversation does – the volume turns up on it a little bit, but it would have to be significant for me for them to make that t- all right, so that's uh, talking about the volume being turned up, and it certainly is being turned up well, today. It's, it's turned up, and but, now, you, now you're instituting a, an injury also, So, but go ahead. But that part in there about how maybe Drake May has deferred. You know, Gerard Mayo thinking Drake May has deferred, and I'm thinking, that's that's what he's thinking, huh? That's interesting. I'll use, I'll use, the, huh. I'll use, I'll use the word territorial prick. Oh, he's, he's, like, he's, you, defer, he's deferring too much. And then you, in your interview, Scott Zolak, with Gerard Mayo, yep. Talk about this very thing, and Gerard Mayo confirms exactly what I think had already been conveyed to Mike Reese. He then says it publicly to you last night. Hear this. Are you surprised, like, when you say there's a competition, that sometimes an ex- external opinion is that it's a 50 50 thing, but you got guys of different rankings. You know, J- Jacoby's been in the game for nine years. You sort of got to bring Drake along at his pace. Um, can it still be like a competition, but you're looking at guys differently, not as equals? Yeah, you know, 100%. And look, over the past few weeks, Drake's confidence has definitely um, gone up. What I will say is Jacoby's done a good job both in the meeting rooms and on the football field, and we'll see. You know, we start the season off on the road in a hostile environment. Um, you know, obviously, Jacoby does have that background starting games in the NFL. It may be good just to see Drake sit out sit that one out but who knows though he could come out here and, and ball out things happen, <laughs> things happen. and then he's, some guys, he's just some guys play well. that's yeah. right that's right yeah I, I want the one where he says he's a good he's been a good teammate uh where drake may is saying that you know sorry gerard mayo is saying that drake may had, was just being a good teammate yeah. and deferring early on that's why I say. So, so that's why he wasn't getting the opportunities. That's why he wasn't getting the first team reps because he was just no. too good of a teammate. No, there's that, a plan. There's that, a, there's that's a plan. what they're pushing now. I know that. As if like, no, no, don't, don't put it on the kid. Yeah. Don't put it on us. We didn't screw up. No, Jaco- no, Jacoby was the guy, and, and we needed Drake May to take it from him and not be such a good teammate. What a load of garbage Drake May is making this coaching staff look like a group of buffoons, and we haven't even seen a regular season game yet. Well, with the way he plays. See, and I, and I say territorial prick. That kind of counts for something. I think it's important at that position, at this, at this level, at this league, one guy plays, and you, there's no sharing here, and you got to be territorial about it. Brady was that way, you know, being threatened by Garoppolo. You're not taking my reps. Get me out of it. You know, uh, he was pissed, man, when he got suspended that Jimmy had the opportunity to play, but let's go to it. Go Here's to the, the other clip part. I wanted. Yeah, here it is. Is it fair to say, like, going back to, like, two or three weeks ago, you know, it's sort of like, hey, you're the rookie, still talking about Drake here, and, you know, I'm the second guy in rotation, maybe the third at times, but do you feel like he's starting to get the feel of, like, playing a big-time position here at the next level? I think he does. I think, you know, early on he was trying to defer and just be a good teammate, and now like he's competing to be the starting quarterback for the New England Patriots, and he's really uh, kind of ramped up his preparation and, and production on the field. No, he was trying to be a good teammate. That's why we couldn't put him in there with a, a real offensive line of real receivers. He was trying to be a good teammate. I'd be pissed if I were Drake May to hear that. What? Well, I mean, uh, everything there, there is they something have to that. done, like, everything they've done this offseason has been about having Jacoby Brissett be their starter. They set it up that way, and now that's on the kid? Oh, we brought in a veteran. We gave him eight million bucks. At the start of camp and in the spring, we told everybody he was QB1. And by the way, Gerard Mayo has done nothing but waffle on this all throughout camp. Look at his quotes. In the beginning, he was the guy. Well, then the they push didn't on. have the a push star. On. Now they've got a guy. What is it? Push, What's your plan? The push is on. These last two weeks, two and a half weeks, have changed. There's no question it's changed. He's clearly the better guy. It's now, uh-oh, we're at, we're at critical juncture point here. We're game planning for Cincinnati now. Cut down is tomorrow, 4 p.m. You're going to be picking up new guys, bringing them in, having to teach them the scheme, the offense, if they're going to be offensive linemen or receivers or somebody. So you've you've got a lot of work to do in these next two or three weeks, but you got to condense and go with it. you got to know who your starter is. I know Gerard said, hey, I want to tell the team. I want to get through cuts. I want to be at a team meeting and tell the team first and not the media who the starting quarterback. Starting quarterback is going to be Jacoby Brissett. That's what I'm prepared for. That's the plan. This is what they've talked about. Okay. The problem now is Drake May is playing above that. Who would you start week one? If Jacoby's healthy, I'll start Jacoby. I'm starting him too. Yeah. And I'm sticking with the plan of letting him 
go out there and absolutely fall apart and be a puddle, and then we're going to have to get to Drake May at some point. But I think the thing that has started to change for me is the week. I'm not starting in week one. You know what I've been saying for oh, months. You're moving week up. nine. Week nine. You're coming up now. I'm. I'm. We all have a right to change our opinion. We stated this multiple well, things times. Feel like do the, the push is on, and that transfer. I said, remember, like we know what Jacoby's plateau is. I mean, there's a reason he's been at several different teams, and he's been in the league for nine years because he's a capable guy for running what he has to run. And there's that line. McCall, but there's an at? uphill you, thing with Drake May. At some point, when that hits that juncture, that's the point it goes. You said week five, six? Week six. six. I'm at week five right now. Okay, you're up to five. five. Yeah. Here we go. Come on my way. Come on. Uh, I'm, Come on. I'm updating. I'm updating you have my the, week. You reserve the right to change your mind. I'm updating my week. I'm at week five. Put me at five. Let Jacoby Brissett embarrass himself in this team for that first month and give the kid the month. But that's what he gets now. I think we've got to accelerate this plan. I don't know that we have it in us to watch Jacoby Brissett for more than those four first four games. Hey, if you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand right here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.